Welcome back to Silent Hill Origins. In the last episode, we got Alessa out of a burning house at the the ritual of immolation that Dahlia Gillespie did to her own daughter. Got them out and then sort of just collapsed after that, and then woke up in Silent Hill, on the streets of Silent Hill, during the day. Not sure what the hell happened, but we've come to Alcamilla Hospital looking for Alessa, see if we can check up on how they're doing. And, uh, not surprisingly, there's monsters in here. At least there are now that we've gone to the other world by going through that mirror that allows us to switch between the normal world and this world, the rusty one. So we just went down these, uh, the staircase right here. Gonna check out this floor. Now that we're in the other world. And I'm gonna take my jug of alcohol with me and throw it at somebody. Oh, wait, one thing first. Our status at the bottom left of the screen looks like it's kind of reddish, so I should probably drink something. Health drink. There we go. Nice. There is a death mask on the door. Underneath is a plaque which reads, Even the blind have need of eyes if they wish to gaze at the future. So I take it I'm supposed to put something on the death mask, something in place of its eyes, maybe. Wait, how do you use items on things? Like... Like, what if the weird egg is something that I'm supposed to put in it? Do I just use it? I can't use that item here. Oh, yeah. There's an oval depression in the door underneath is a plaque which reads, Even in this inferno, from out of the flames, I saw life born anew. Oh, this is probably the one that needs the egg. Life born anew. That looks like a roughly egg-shaped slot. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that's to the bathroom. <laughs> what the hell am I going to find in there? Okay, so that's where I have to go, huh? Yeah, we've tried every other door. Actually, haven't tried the other bathroom. That doesn't even look like a door anymore. Oh, a mirror to the normal world. So, that's going to be a thing, isn't it? Using the switching between worlds to get around obstacles, I think. Right? Because, like, this is probably going to take me somewhere that I wasn't able to get before. Okay. The cistern lid is loose. Remove it. Sure. <laughs> plastic liver. Okay, so I've got plastic lungs and a plastic liver. What am I going to be doing? Reassembling an anatomical model of some sort? Nothing to see, just a filthy toilet. cleaning products. Not that anyone seems to do much cleaning around here. Ooh, health drink. Someone has written on the door. It says, Amy, 31. Oh, this is related to, uh, we found a thing talking about a heart. How a heart was put on ice and something about like three women to make my heart beat or something like that. Amy 31, I think that's their age. Let me write this down. Okay, got it. Ooh. Staff lounge key. Wait, anything in this cistern? Nope.
So, we should be safe in this world, right? No enemies? Not that I'm going to put down my giant jar of alcohol. What kind of alcohol is in here, by the way? Like rubbing alcohol or what? Alcohol. Medicinal alcohol. What is medicinal alcohol? Made with thick, heavy glass. It's empty. Aww. Staff lounge. Ah, straight ahead. Whoa, what? That, those view changes just really confuse me. Ooh, nice camera angle. Oh, that's really cool. Just old textbooks, reports, and magazines. Nothing I need. Still don't know what energy drinks are for. Construction. As you know, the renovations to the upper floors have run into problems. The plumbing leak and substandard materials used have forced us to close off the third floor until further notice. We are reminded of the familiar adage, you get what you pay for. We now face six more months of work, reducing our capacity for the coming year. We will have to cut spending on inpatient care and consultancy fees by 50%. Therefore, we ask doctors to refrain from committing patients and encourage home stays instead. Unless they're dying in your arms, don't book them in. Staff party! Worry not, the staff party is still on. Our recreation budget is locked away where no one can tamper. Everyone meet at Annie's bar at 8 p.m. on Friday. Alcohol, medicinal of course, and food will be free. Arrive early to grab a trainee nurse. They go quick? Wait, what? To The nurse, the trainee nurses go quick? I don't understand. Ah. Capitalism. Profit-driven healthcare. Ooh. Lucy 23. I got a toaster. Exam room key. I got a toaster. I never thought I'd read that in a Silent Hill game. At least not in the context of it's a weapon. Where is the exam room? Is it up? Oh no, it's just right over here. Straight ahead and then to the right. Oh, this is probably where we're supposed to put all those parts. It's a plastic anatomy doll that's missing some parts. Take a look. Sure. Do I have, <laughs> Do I have to put them in the right place? Well, surely this is not enough parts. I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, that human bodies have a little bit more than just lungs and a... and a... This is a liver, right? Another medicinal alcohol bottle. Now I have a typewriter. To all staff, it is forbidden to enter my office unaccompanied until further notice. Dr. Kaufman. Okay, so yeah, even seven years prior to the events of Silent Hill 1, Dr. Kaufman was still running the place. Hold on. Look at that trash can. Right there. If I'm not mistaken, it looks like it's entirely full of cigarette butts. There's a light box on the wall. Let's turn it on. It says Sarah 19. Okay, got it. Oh, got some more parts here. Plastic intestine. Looks like a bunch of noodles. 
Plastic stomach. For this camera angle, I feel like something's supposed to go on here. Medical books, nothing out of the ordinary that I can see. Door is sealed up tight, can't get through. Well, still lacking some things. Like, how finely can I control where it goes? Eh. Like, I mean, that goes, like, there. And if I leave, does it stay? It does. Okay. Well, this shouldn't be too bad. I mean, lungs are, like... Eh. Like... There. Uh... Should this have gone behind the lungs? Oh, okay. Sure. Another organ is in the way. Well... What's that sound? Yeah, I think we're missing, well, at least the heart, right? So what do I come away from this room with? I think I needed three parts for the whole frozen heart thing, but the problem is I don't know where this frozen heart is. Oh, well, the frozen heart must be the heart that goes into this body. That still doesn't tell me where the heart is, though. Oh, hey. I think I found it. I don't know if I forgot to go in here or what. But uh, this is in the other world, of course, right before I went down the stairs. Instead, I went up and I just saw on the map already was this little thing here, which looked like something I'd never been to and maybe was a locked thing, which is probably what I need to use the code that I've compiled from those three names on. But I'd never been there, so I don't know why that was marked. I don't know. Maybe I did pop in here and just, like, didn't pay attention? Oh, you can hear the heart. Okay. Medical ice, ice box with a lock. Take a look, yes. So, I think it's from young to old. So, we have Sarah, 19, Lucy, 23, Amy, 31. So, 19, 23, 31. God, the movement is so weird on the cursor. It, it has an incredible, mind-blowing amount of momentum. It starts so slow and gets so fast. I feel like I'm dragging it through mud. One. It's very hard to aim. Nine. Two, three. Three, one. Maybe it's the reverse? Maybe it's the oldest age to the youngest? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Plastic heart. I feel like something's gonna be waiting for me out here now that I've done that. Oh, fuck! Throw a toaster! Throw it, Travis. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's reevaluate. I was pressing the wrong button because I'm so used to the old combat. I wasn't, that's why I wasn't throwing it. I wasn't pressing the right combat button. I wasn't prepping it. Also, I guess I can go into this menu to switch my weapons, which I probably should do, because... Damn, trying to switch in real time when somebody's up in your face? Not good. Let's, uh... Let's go with the typewriter. Yeah, it's fascinating typewriter. I want to heal, though. 
That didn't even make me green. There we go. Okay. It's not the trigger, it's the bumper. so many throwables. I guess if you get like grabbed onto while you're holding them you just drop them and then they just disappear into the ether. Okay. Uh, down the stairs? Yeah, down the stairs. Oh, come on! Yeah, the hotspot for doing a finishing move on him is so s ridiculously small. Oh, hey, there's a note here in the bathroom that I missed before. Having trouble with your anatomy class? Find them. Find that getting them out is much easier than putting them back in? Just remember this easy mnemonic. Inside Stevie, little Henry lurks. That is a very creepy mnemonic. Organ in the way. Where does it go exactly? Oh, like, do I have to... I probably have to put them completely in the order that it said in the note, right? Oh, maybe not. Ew, hi. The doll's eyes have opened. All the organs have been returned to the doll. Oh, the eyes are open. That means the door is open. I didn't need to put anything in the door itself. I just needed to open the doll's eyes. Never mind. I need to steal those peepers. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, it broke. Let's examine these first, huh? A pair of glass eyes taken from the anatomy model in the exam room. Okay, that wasn't exciting. Existential thought. Do you think the little green plus symbol next to Travis's hands will get darker and darker as they punch until their hands finally just crack? Please kick them something. Please turn around. What are you. This combat is so bad, I hate it. It's real, real bad. <sighs> Maybe I should just ignore him. There. Fuck him.
Wait, what? Is that a doorway? Oh god. Is this a boss? Well, that was an exciting boss fight. Just unlock the boss with your fists. The future piece. They're really going all in with these triangles. First the Floros, and then the save sign is a triangle, and then now this future piece. What is this? You. What was that thing? This isn't happening. Are you okay? Sorry, did I startle you? My name is Lisa. I'm a trainee here. Are you waiting for someone? No. No, I'm just... Well... I'm done here. Name's Travis. Nice to meet you, Lisa. You sure you're okay? You look a little shaken up. Sorry. No, it's okay. To be honest, I've been a little off all day. I was in a fire last night. I think it boiled my brain a little. The fire in the business district? How awful. I heard about that. No one knows how it got started. And that poor girl, Alessa Gillespie, to die like that. Alessa? She died? Yes. Sorry, did you know her? No. But... Never mind. Well, I have to run. Dr. Kaufman wants to meet me over at Cedar Grove Sanitarium, and he'll be mad if I'm late. Maybe see you around? Take it easy, Travis. You too, Lisa. I don't mean to shock anybody, but I think this game might be really bad. <laughs> really bad oh at least there's definitely one good thing i can say about what we just saw this time for sure lisa's not going to die because they died during the events of the first silent hill this is seven years before so they can't die now right this game's really bad it's um hmm they follow a lot of the formula of Silent Hill pretty closely, but in a lot of ways, it's just not nearly as good. Something that I got from the original Silent Hills that I'm not getting from this is a sense of coherency, because a lot of strange things happen during the original Silent Hill games. A lot of things that are really hard to explain and are just straight up bizarre, but just like Twin Peaks The Return, for example, even though a lot of stuff is hard to explain, I feel like there's an actual real consistency to what's happening. I feel like there's an internal logic and like the answers for why these things are happening have been thought out and I'm just not privy to them. But this game just feels like a bunch of random stuff they threw at the wall. I don't get that sense of an underlying logic to all this. I'm also surprised how bad it feels to play. So it does the camera relative movement that we see in Silent Hill 4, which in Silent Hill 4 felt really great. It was really nice. I talked a little bit about this before, how it feels clunkier than that, than in Silent Hill 4, but it's a similar control scheme. 
Well, the more I've played with it, the more I can tell you that it not only feels really bad, but actually I think I prefer the tank controls of Silent Hill 1 and 3 even more than these very bad camera relative controls. It just, it doesn't feel good. Anyway, I'm still enjoying it more than Shattered Memories, and I'm, I'm definitely going to see it through. It's also worth keeping in mind that I'm pretty sure it's not a very long game. From what I saw on How Long to Beat, it said it's about six hours or so. With me playing it, realistically, that's probably going to be more, more like seven or eight hours, but it still sounds like it's going to be the shortest out of all the ones I've played. So don't worry, I'm going to stick with it. I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to head out of the hospital and I guess figure out what to do next.